it's great to see you again. So hey, this is our last workshop, our last lesson, looking at music from the Far East. And my name's Mike, who have we got here? We've got Fred. Hello. We've got Tim. Hi. And we've got Liz with us as well, which is great. So hey, we're going to carry on looking at some taiko music from Japan. You see, we've still got these same wonderful images behind us. I've got Tokyo behind me here with a lovely Fuji mounting, that, which I think, Tim, you've also got the, with the Inspireworks logo on top of the mountain, but you've got the same mountain as well. And Fred's got a temple. And Liz doesn't have an image because she, she can't get... Um, far enough away from the camera, otherwise um, be able to show the drums. So Liz, could you just, we needed to see um, the whole body, didn't we? Because the posture is very important for Taiko. So could you just remind us, how does the Taiko posture look? And also how do we hold our sticks? If you could show us that, that'd be great. Because um, it is really important. Remembering why we're in this posture. So we're in this posture because we want to feel strong and look strong and sound strong behind the drum. So stand back from your drum, whatever your drum's made of, and put your feet apart, put your, I put my left leg forward, but you can put whichever side. And then the other foot goes back. So you have a diagonal line going from front to back. Your foot's behind your drum. And then the other thing is the bachi. So the bachi, bachi is um, the word for stick, in drumstick in Japanese. So we're gonna hold a little way up the drumstick and then the way we prepare over the drum is to make a V shape and then to bring your bachi to just over the top of your skin. So now we're ready to play. Great. Thank you very much, Liz. So now you can see now you can see that Liz is ready to play. Shall we all have a go at playing the whole thing that we learned yesterday? Now we're not going to teach you this again because you can just go back and watch it on the video, on the previous video, video number four. So here we go. Shall we have a go put it all together? We'll hear the counting in Japanese, ich, ni, san, shi, to start off. Here we go. Ich, ni, san, shi. Absolutely amazing. Right. Well, I tell you what, Tim, um, in Japan, do they have just drums? Because we've only talked about drums or things that we could be using at home um, to play drums. But, you know, what else um, What else do they use, Tim? Well, there's also a bell sound. And uh, as you can see, this is not a bell. This is actually a little dish that I um, sometimes eat my uh, curries out of. But it makes a great bell sound so the uh, the bell in taiko often plays quick notes that just keep going all the time so it sounds like this so have a go at that if you can find something that'll make that sound and uh, i wonder liz does liz know about something for us i have here what they would actually use in japan but it's not too dissimilar from what tim's just shown you with the shape because what Tim was showing you is he was playing the inside, which is what you would do with this. This is called Atari Gane, and the, another name for it is Chanchiki. And the reason it's Chanchiki is because of the sound that you make. So every time you play a beat in taiko or a sound in taiko, it has a verbal sound that goes with it. So what Tim was playing was Chiki Chiki Chiki. Chiki Chiki Chiki. Great. So that's just over and over again. Now, I'll tell you what, it, this is one of those things you see, Tim and Liz, you know, they're great drummers and they actually made that look really easy. But again, it's like with a lot of these things that we do in all these different lessons, getting that stick hitting down and up on the inside of whatever you're using is really, really tricky. So you might need to go and practice that to make sure you can have a good um, go with that. And also, I suppose yeah, there's other things you could use. You could maybe just get a, um, a cup or a glass with just a pen on the inside. That might create a similar kind of sound as well. Um, but hey, we've only learned half our piece so far. Um, so Liz, there's a whole second section that we need to learn, isn't there? So go on, just like you did last time, you can teach us what to do because we're eager to learn. Okay. So um, we're going to use some similar sounds from last time, but we're going to add another sound this time, which you'll see in a moment. So let's learn the first phrase. So the first phrase, don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Can you say that? Don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. With a new sound, 
is ki. So ki, when we say ki, we just tap our sticks together. So we tap uh -huh. our bachi together just near the end of the bachi. You can do this either side or you can do it up the, up the top or wherever you like. So that's that's the sound, for, that's what you do for ki. So don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. So we're going to put another one on top of those now. So doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Let's say that again. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. So we're going to put those two together. Don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Let's do it with our hands. Don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. And we're going to repeat that. So let's do that now. Let's repeat that. And that's most of the pattern. That's half the pattern, hot most. So again, I'm going to do my keys to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Ready? Don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Okay, so you can go back and listen to that again if you need. Now the next half, we're just going to shorten some of those sounds and put them together. So the next bit is don, ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Can you say that with me? Don, ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. And remember to keep it really light and musical and yeah, happy sounding. Again, we're going to do that twice. So let's let's do the whole thing twice. Don, ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Again. Don, ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. So you can choose wherever you decide to put your keys. So let's say that the pattern from the beginning, okay? So. Don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Don, ki, ki. Doko, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. So I'm going to go back to my drum now um, and I'm going to show you what that looks like on the drum and then I'm going to actually play the drum for the second time. Okay, so just follow me and you remember you can do your keys wherever you like. Remember the beginning posture, ready? And we'll count in. We're going to play it in the air first of all. So ich, mi, san, shi. Don, doko, don, 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 ki, ki. Doko doko don 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 ki ki don doko don 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 ki ki doko doko don 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 ki ki don ki ki don ki ki doko doko don 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 ki ki don ki ki don ki ki doko doko don 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 ki ki so let's do it on the drum now and Keep your voice nice and big and musical. So, ich, ni, san, shi. until I was ready to come back on the drum. It makes it really visual and really fun to play. So that's the pattern. 
Thank you so much, Liz. That's absolutely fantastic. Really great to learn. And Liz, we'd love to learn a bit more about when they play taiko in Japan. You know, is it something that, you know, they just have in special concerts or is it something that, you know, they, they might play at certain times of the day or, or and who plays it? What, so tell us, you know, when, when do they play taiko in Japan? So taiko is a very much a community uh, art form. It actually, it wasn't, it didn't really begin as an art form. It's just a community activity. So it's very much about groups and people. Um, and so it's not unusual to see to go out in the summertime and maybe come into a market square maybe and see people just playing around the drum of an evening so maybe sometimes in the evening when people are relaxing um, you will always find a taiko drum a bit like the one in the back there that I've just been playing you'll always find one of those in every temple in Japan so um, I, if you can see behind Fred is a temple um, and that's a very famous temple that's in Kyoto there are many many temples in Japan you'll always find them there um, and they use the drum in there before as a call to prayer, so before prayer time, before they eat, um, and just as a general, they just use the, the instrument a lot in temples. And you'll find taiko drums in festivals, of which there are many, many, many in Japan all throughout the year, especially the summer. And more recently, so from the 60s and 70s, it was used as a performance art on stage, very dynamic. If you ever get the chance, go and see one. Yeah, well, I have to certainly see them. Well, I'll tell you what, see if we've got all four of us now on the screen and I can see Fred and Tim already with their drums. Shall we have a go at playing together this new section, this new phrase, that like the second half of our whole piece that Liz has taught us today. Um, so we're going to all together. We'll hear the nice little bass things in the background as well. And um, But we're going to do this fast. So again, the lovely thing about having this on YouTube, you can just keep playing this little bit section of the video over and over again if you want to, to make sure you get it. So make sure you're standing in the right posture that Liz has shown you. Make sure you've got your sticks nice and ready. We'll hear an itch, knee, san, chi, then we'll start. Ready? Itch, knee, san, chi. <laughs> quick wasn't it <laughs> really really fast that hey yeah, let's give it another go because i tell you what this time tim can you put in that bell that'd be great if we can put that in here we go so once more are you ready standing in the right posture got your sticks ready here we go itch me sound she <laughs> Absolutely amazing to hear us play that all together. Now, Liz, if you wouldn't mind just coming back a bit closer to the camera so we can see a little bit. Um, so, so Liz, um, when a piece starts, we're talking about the leader and everything as well. So when a piece starts, how does everyone know when to get into that posture? Do you normally have someone saying, right guys, come on, stand in the right place. Well, no, what, what do we do? You know, how do we, how do we start before we play anything? And also how do we finish? Okay, so starting is very important because Taiko groups are often so big, maybe 30 or 40 people playing on one stage together, sometimes even more. So you, you need a cue. You need a cue. You need a signal to know what to do and when. So we'd all walk onto the stage and then there'll be a signal to do particular postures, which I'll show you in a moment. And then two words which we use. The first word is kyotsuke. Kyotsuke. It means to bring your body to a state of attention. So if you're walking on stage, you're sketch. Okay, I'm ready for anything now. And then the second word is kamayete. Kamayete means prepare. So I'm going to show you now, behind the drum, how we would do that. So we walk on stage, all of us together, all 100 of us, and we'll stand behind the drum. Ready? So how do we know when to stop? We might hear somebody say, Skip. Okay, now we know. Kamaite. And then we would count ourselves in and play. So this way everybody knows what to do. At the end of a song, we might be in a, in a finishing position here. And how do we know to bring everybody all together? How do we know how to move? So we have a sound that we use, a small sound, but an easy to hear sound. 
soup, which you also use with the words in Taiko songs as well. So, soup, the first soup, we would step to one side. The second soup, we would stand back behind the drum. And then we have another word for bowing, because we want to bow to the audience who are clapping like mad. And the word is they, and we bow. And to come up again, soup. So each of those suits indicate what we're supposed to do. So I'll show you one more time from the end. Soup. Soup. They. Soup. There we go. Wow. So it's so important to understand a lot of these, all these cultural things that go with it as well. It just makes Taiko what it is. I think it's really important to do that if we're going to perform. So we're going to do that in a minute. We're going to put everything all together. So do you remember in the last lesson, the last video, that we had the other section, the don don doko do, don doko do, don don doko do, don doko do, don doko don doko don doko don doko don doko don don suit don don. We did all of that twice, and then we're going to go on to everything that Liz has taught us today. Don doko don 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 ki ki doko doko don 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 ki ki and so on as well. Now we're going to do this all together. We're going to do those um, movements that Liz was showing us at the beginning, but also at the very after we've done those movements to start off the whole piece, we're going to have our bass rhythm, that first rhythm we learned don doko don doko don doko. We're going to have that played by Fred and Tim. And what's the great thing about Taika? Of course, we can play things different volumes, like a lot of drums. We don't have to just stick one volume. So you'll hear what they're going to do there. They do a, a big loud don, and then they go really soft. And they go, dun, 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 and they do it again. So we get what's called a crescendo, yeah, where we hit a loud note and then we get really soft and we get louder and louder. That's the crescendo bit. So shall we try this all together? So, um, you know, we can just all be standing sort of behind our drum. I imagine we've got the drum. We're going to be nice and relaxed. And then we're going to hear some, some things from Liz that's going to tell us to make sure that we're in the right place, doing the right thing at the right time. Kyotsuke! Come on, Are you ready? Here comes our piece. everyone that was great now I tell you what I wouldn't mind doing it again because there's one extra little bit that we forgot to tell you that we all said at the end at the very end and when we finish that B section there's a little hey a little yeah and you can do a nice little short as loud as you can hey, to finish off that little bit before we and that's kind of that's the last note the whole thing and that's before we do the movements as well but also I reckon we could neaten up a little bit our bows and all our different moves we're doing before and after the piece because remember this is all kind of it it's almost like a mixture between drumming and martial arts you know when you see this it's really 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 precise all the moves we've got to do so shall we give this another go from the very beginning yep yeah, here we are so if we all just kind of imagine we're just kind of coming on the stage and um, we're just going to wait to hear liz give us a nice uh, movement to get in the right posture Kyotsuke. Kamaete.
レイスはい、well done everyone。Thank you so much for joining us today for these videos. We've had tremendous fun doing these, and thank you so much, Liz, for teaching us so much about Tycho as well. It was really, really great. So this is the end, but it's not quite the end because, of course, you've got to go and look on the website and answer all the questions that are on the quiz as well to make sure you've remembered everything we've taught you. But this is the end of the Far East, music from the Far East. We've had great fun doing these videos, but on our website there are loads of other videos that show lots of different styles of drumming. So come back and do lots of those as well. But for the moment, we're going to say goodbye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.